Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, and I wanted to make you aware of a couple of drills. As you well know, we have, uh, we being the YouTube community and the patriots and the people who are wanting to get truth out to the people, have been doing our best to put out warnings to the people and information so that you will know when upcoming drills are happening. So Fox 10 Arizona News, Special Forces Training in the Phoenix Metro Area. Uh, this was reported, it was posted on November the 19th, and it was updated on November the 20th. If you've heard helicopters in the area over the past few days, it is not an invasion, it is military training. On Thursday evening, a team of helicopters descended on downtown Phoenix where helicopters were seen orbiting and hovering around the Sandra Day O'Connor Federal Courthouse. One of the helicopters had military personnel rappelling down onto the roof of the building while others orbited the area. Phoenix police had both Washington Street and Jefferson closed during the training, which startled several residents and patrons of businesses downtown. So obviously this drill, this specific drill, has already happened. One of my issues with these are, are several issues. We know that Special Operations Command and their military are working with localized law enforcement. And one of the main problems with this is, is not only the violation of Posse Comitatus, because they have military bases for a reason. And I'll go in further detail about just some of the massive airspace that they have and places that they have to train. However, they are not supposed to be training in our cities and causing concern to the residents. They are our military. They are not the Obama administration's military. They're not a Republican's military or a Democrat's military. They are supposed to be separate from the federal government and they are supposed to be answerable to the civilian people. They are specifically for our protection. Now, one of the main things that uh, I have noticed with these quote-unquote drills, for one, they are trying to, uh, just as in Jade Helm 15, the Special Operations Command was working with federal law enforcement, state, local, and all of the above. What they are doing is they are integrating these police forces with training with Special Operations Command. And that, to me, is not okay, and I'll tell you why. It's not because I don't love our guys. I do. I love our men and women that are in the military. I'm an ex-military wife myself, and I love our people. They are our brothers, our fathers, our sisters, our mothers, our cousins. They are our families. However, this creates a problem because when the police work with and learn from special forces or any type of our military to be honest with you what they are doing is they are integrating military tactics or learning military tactics with law enforcement and we are not supposed to have a standing army this is a violation of posse comitatus and they have military bases and resources for a reason they have absolutely no need whatsoever to be training in downtown areas in Phoenix metro area. Another concern is obviously this raised concerns from some of the civilians. So you have, let's say you have some elderly individuals that have heart problems, they see this, it could create a problem. Where were the local police being involved in knocking on doors or handing out flyers letting local businesses know, letting civilians know that they're going to be doing training. With all of the crap going on with ISIS terrorists, which, you know, stemmed out of the Mujahideen and Al-Qaeda and pretty much was created by the United States government, but that's set aside, okay? This can create fear in the population. And it is local law enforcement's job to not work for Special Operations Command. It is not local law enforcement's job to work for the 
federal government. It is local law enforcement's job to serve and protect the people of that community. When you do not warn the people that there is a drill going on and there is mass concern, then you have a problem and you are not doing your job. So you have individuals who are concerned because they saw these special forces in Black Hawk helicopters flying in their town. Some of them even stated that the, the helicopters shook their apartment, things inside their apartments. So I'm not going to play this actual video. I'm going to leave links in the video below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another one. This one, like I said, has already happened. However, I'm going to bring to your attention now a new drill. And this new drill is due to start December the 1st, and it's going to run through December the 13th. There is going to be foreign military training with our guys. So, Fox 10 Arizona, Arizona News reports increased air activity near Luke Air Force Base is scheduled. Okay, so at least they're giving people a heads up on this one. Glendale, Arizona, Luke Air Force Base officials say that the public will see and hear increased air activity in early December at the Glendale Base and a training area in southwestern Arizona between Yuma and Tucson. Luke officials said that the base will host an exercise involving members of Singapore's armed forces from December the 1st to December the 13th. Officials said the foregoing Sabre exercise will involve night and weekend flying operations at Luke and the Barry M. Goldwater Range Complex. Activity associated with the exercise will include movements of military vehicles, on State Route 85 as military personnel position themselves within the range. Okay, so if this is going to be done on the Air Force Base and if this is going to be done on the Barry M. Goldwater Range Complex, then that is absolutely fine. Why? Because this is where military is supposed to train. They are supposed to train on their bases. One of my questions is, and, and I know that we have Joint Military Task Force, Singapore's Armed Forces are going to be here December the 1st to December the 13th. Um, I'm going to pull up in just a minute so that you can see Barry M. Goldwater Range Complex, the information on it. And the reason that I'm doing that is I want to revert back to what we were talking about about the previous drill in Phoenix. They have absolutely no need to be training on our streets. All they are doing, you know, some people say, oh, it made me feel safer. Why did it make you feel safer? It's a violation of posse comitatus. You have, you're not supposed to be training off of your bases. Period. I love you guys. I do. But when is our military going to say enough is enough? We're not doing this. It, it's not giving us any security. What it's doing is, it's either A, frightening people, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to think. B, you have desensitization. You're desensitizing the military to being used to making military runs, whether drills or not, in America on private property. And when I say private property, state property. You're supposed to be on your bases. You're flying around people's homes. You're shaking things inside their homes, and we're supposed to be all good and okay with that because apparently um, we're supposed to be used to seeing Black Hawk military helicopters flying around our neighborhoods and around our businesses because, you know, it's like Black Hawk down. So, I find a issue, of course, with these other drills because, number one, local law enforcement is refusing, 
refusing to take responsibility and warn the people. When the mainstream media or any media, or even me or you, alternative media, investigative journalists, anybody who asks about these things, oh, well, all I can confirm for you is it's a drill. That's unacceptable. You are my, our employees. And I'm referring to the police right now. You are our employees. You are not our masters. We pay your paychecks. Do your job or we'll find a way to get you out of there and put someone in there that will. Because you're not helping our safety. And this illusion of it is a crock. So, I would really love to personally know how much money the United States federal government is spending on all these drills because apparently they have plenty of money to play around and do drills. All across this nation, all the time, whether it be active shooter drills, whether it be these type of drills right here, whether it be, it doesn't matter. I want to know how much money is being used, our taxpayer money, to pay them to play games. Because the last time I checked, why don't they drill on the border and close it down? But instead, you know, they have to fly through Phoenix, scare the heck out of some individuals, so they can rappel down on top of a federal courthouse. But that's okay. You know, nobody's supposed to look at that. They're not supposed to look at how many millions and possibly, because I don't have the numbers, billions of dollars they have wasted on doing what they are doing. Just at the price differential of them doing their training on bases versus going across the United States of America, dealing with local law enforcement, getting them involved. We're paying local law enforcement to what? Sit there and, and babysit a drill? That's not what we hired you for. And we sure didn't hire you to keep your mouth shut about a drill that is concerning citizens. And I'm sorry, this, this farce, this farce of, oh, we're doing it for national security. You know what, please, you're making us all freaking sick to death with that agenda. Don't talk to us about, quote, unquote, national security when TSA has 73 people that are hired by them get paid by us and they're on the terrorist watch list. Don't tell us about national security when you release convicted felons, approximately 60,000 of them, if not more, onto the streets of America that were criminal, illegal aliens in the first place. That was not even their felony. So instead of kicking them out of the country, they let them out on our streets. Do not talk to us about national security when the Department of Justice and the ATF, who wants to ban our guns, is gun running to the Mexican Sonola drug cartel responsible for over 200 murders in the country of Mexico and several here in the United States of America. Do not talk to us about, quote unquote, national security. When you allow the United States government and the corrupt politicians to arm, fund, and train ISIS. And if you're under the illusion that FSA, or otherwise known as the Free Syrian Army, is Syrian, you're mistaken.
They have been arming, training, and funding ISIS for years. ISIS hasn't always been known as ISIS. You have Mujahideen, you have Al-Qaeda, you have ISIS, you have Anwar al-Sharia. They are the same thing, and they are the pay <laughs> paid off political pundits to do the fighting for the corrupt elite. Don't dare talk to me about me needing to give up more of my privacy, John Brennan. Because poor old NSA, well, oh my gosh, we must be able to collect all American data without the permission because I'm going to throw a fit. Okay, let's get real. Number one, NSA has never stopped a terrorist attack. Neither has TSA. However, Mr. John Brennan, TSA, you're using the Paris attacks as an excuse, which is fraudulent and a fraud on its face. And it's not only sickening, it's almost humorous how stupid you sound when you say that. Because not one person that had to do with the Paris terrorist attack, which just so happened to happen on the same day as a drill, by the way, but, you know, that's how they were able to get there so fast. That's pretty convenient. So you think because some foreigners and some pretend refugees went in and attacked people in Paris, that you have a need to expand your NSA on American citizens to violate our Fourth Amendment right? Let me tell you something, and I don't know how many of you realize this, but I'm getting ready to just lay it bare because tonight I apologize if I seem like I'm a little irritated, but you know what I am. I am because I am so sick to death of these corrupt, twisted maggots sitting in Washington, D.C., and every one of them, and yes, I said it, every one of them, from the White House to Congress to the House of Representatives to the Senate it, to the CIA to the FBI to any of them. I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about any of them that support and have been involved with Arming, training, and funding terrorists should be arrested immediately and charged with high treason. They are our enemies. They are enemies against humanity. And yes, I know all about the CIA factions. That's openly admitted in Congress, and you have idiots out here that still buy that, oh, no, we're only arming the moderates. Why do you think Obama a couple of years ago made sure to do away with that via executive order that you can't fund terrorists because if you do, it's high treason? He got rid of that. Do you remember that everybody throwing a fit about that? At least I know I did. You know why? Because that's when he started arming them. You want to talk to me about taking my Second Amendment right, about having to have a background check for a gun, about having to have a background check for ammunition? How many damn Syrian, free Syrian army, if you will, which is not Syrian, does Al-Qaeda terrorists, NYL Sharia, have been supplied with guns, have been supp supplied with SAMs, SAMs meaning surface-to-air missiles, RPGs, our hardware, our vehicles, all of this, not one with a background check, and you want to run your mouth here in the United States of America and talk about us needing a background check? <laughs> Amazing to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I apologize for the rant. I'm going to pull up a fact sheet about the Barry M. Goldwater Range Overview. And the only reason I'm doing this is I want you to realize how many million of acres they have to practice here inside the United States of America. 
So Barry M. Goldwater Range, or the BMGR complex, is vast training range used by the United States and Allied pilots and other forces. The range consists of 1.7 million acres of relatively undisturbed Sonoran Desert in the southwestern Arizona between Yuma and Tucson. Overhead are 57,000 cubic miles of airspace where pilots practice air-to-air -air maneuvers into air-to-air -air ranges and engage simulated battlefield targets at nine air-to-air -air ground ranges. You cannot tell me with this kind of, and we have more bases than this. This is just the range. This is just the overview. So can you explain to me what in the heck the excuse is each time I'm sick of it? Can you explain to me what the excuse is that they keep using and law enforcement keeps going along with them drilling in our cities, in our towns? There is no excuse. I love our military, men and women, but you know what? It is time. It is past time. It has been past time for years for you to stand up and say no. You know in your heart this is a violation of everything that this country stands for. No matter how you try to sugarcoat it. And no matter how much you try to say it's okay and convince yourself you're not doing it to protect America. Realize it or not. You yourself are being targeted by our own government, and you know it. All you have to do is read the documents and open your eyes. Our veterans, open your eyes, people. This is all about mastering the human domain. And I'm sorry, but I am not comfortable, even though I love our guys, I am not comfortable with your Black Hawk helicopters going down in the normal parts of our streets and in our cities. I am not comfortable with you driving tanks and playing your drills or playing unconventional warfare practice on our streets. And each one that goes along with it, either stand up, say something, or you should be ashamed of yourselves because one day you will regret not doing so. One day you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you're going to say, how in the world did I do this? Did I allow this to happen on my watch? You're supposed to be protectors of the people. You're supposed to be protectors of the United States of America. You know, a lot of people want to tout that, oh, I love our military. You know, they, they fight for our rights every day. No, they don't. And I love our military, too. Let me tell you something. But no, they don't. And if you believe that, you're strongly delusional. All you have to do is look at congressional hearings and all you have to do is pay attention. They're taking orders from the UN and NATO and have been for years. You're not fighting for America, people. You're fighting for the UN and NATO. We are invading other countries. And this farce of, oh, well, now we must send boots in the ground in Syria because now that Paris has been attacked and yada, 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 if anybody buys into that crap, God help you. Because the only reason that they want our boots on the ground right now is to help overthrow Assad, which has been the intention the entire time. And now they think maybe, just maybe, the American public will be stupid enough to support sending our troops into Syria. Forget that our guys are going to be dealing with their own hardware and forget that they're going to be told that they're training those that and fighting with those that are fighting the terrorists. You want to fight the terrorists? You want to stop the terrorists? Do you want to stop ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Anwar al-Sharia, Mujahideen, whichever one you want to call it? You arrest the politicians in Washington, D.C. that fund, arm, and train them. 
You arrest the bankers that have the connections with it. You arrest the 40 countries, the individuals in those 40 countries that have funded this. And then you know what? ISIS will be no more. And let me tell you why. Because the head will be have cut off as a snake. Because the body is nothing if you cut off the head. And the head is the politicians and the corrupt individuals that give no thought or care about human life. They only want their little teeny tiny power struggle, which in the end won't mean anything. Because one day, and it doesn't matter who they are, they will face God. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Even the corrupt politicians. And don't hand me this mess that, oh, if the Republicans got in there, or if the Democrats wouldn't do this, and if you're buying into that, that delusion of the, that paradigm that they're different, you're part of the problem. They're all part of the problem. The Democrats held both houses when Obama first got in office. Republicans now have the House and the Senate, and they still haven't done shit. They talk a big game to get elected, and then they sit there on their high horses collecting our money and being cowards with no balls. And if they're not cowards with no balls, then you know what? That means they're paid off punks. And I'm sorry if this one isn't politically correct. I really am. And I know I'm ranting for a very long time. But I am tired. And I know so many other people that are too. But are you tired enough? Are we the people going to stand like we the people of Egypt stood? And they regained their country away from the corrupt Muslim Brotherhood, which the Obama administration helped put in. Are we going to sit on our butts or what? But we must be distracted. And but they said so, so we must do it or, 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 you know, we might get in trouble. Or it's not politically correct to say that. Or, oh my God, it's racist if you say that. Let me tell you something. Learn the definition of racist. It's judging a person by the color of their skin. And if you continue to support Obama with all of the lies, all of the scandals, all of the treason, and everything that is absolutely open, then you are judging a person by the color of his skin. You want to pretend he is a black man and he is biracial. And it doesn't matter if he is black, if he is white, if he is purple, if he is pink or pinstripe, it doesn't matter. He is corrupt along with many of the other politicians in Washington, D.C. And he needs to be charged for high treason. John McCain is another one. He was so proud to put out that picture creep of him meeting with the terrorists. Yet, where does he sit? Harry Reid, Diane Feinstein. Shall we continue? Because the list is long. As a matter of fact, if we were to actually do a list, it'd be shorter to write the list of the ones that should not be arrested for high treason because that would be a short list. All right. Anyway, that's my rant and the information for tonight. I appreciate you sticking with me. Be aware. 
Be aware of your surroundings, what's going on, and tell others. Be informed. And once you are informed, make sure you tell others. Till next time. Thank you. God bless you. And Semper Fidelis.